Hello, welcome back. So lately I have been really inspired by, well I say lately, but this is kind of just what I love, <laughs> but really recently I've been very inspired by old, gaudy, Victorian style. And so I wanted to do a kind of vintage Victorian Gothic inspired nail set. So that is what we're going to do today. When I think of Victorian Gothic, I always think of big ornate mirrors and picture frames and so I bought some uh, gems that I think will pair with that really nicely. Throw some lace in there, throw some black. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do today and let's go ahead and get right into it. I just recently got a couple of items that inspired this set of nails and so I got these foils, these transfer foils that are, I wonder if you can even see that, um, different lace patterns. So I got those and I got these little gems. So I definitely thought that this would be a cute combo for these kind of like Victorian Gothic nails. I already obviously have my base on, so what I used for that is I just used this Prep and Clean Dehydrate from ASP, this Extra Strength Primer from ASP, and then I did a layer of this, Jesus, <laughs> Fzaa Nest. <laughs> um, rubber base coat on my nails just as a, a little bit of a base color and then I adhered these um, McCart Stiletto Soft Gel full cover tips. I, adhere, I adhered, adhered, adhered them to my nails with just a base coat. So that is the base that I have going on. So what I am doing now is I'm going to take this nude color. You see I've already applied it to this nail. I'm going to take this nude color and use this as the base of all of my nails. So my, my idea here is that I want to do a French tip and have the transfer foil be on the French tip for the majority of the nails. First things first, we're going to go ahead and apply this Born Pretty color. This is BPJR01. I chose this color because it's very close to, I feel like if my natural nail blood looked nice, it's, it's what mine would look like. Um, it's a little lighter, but it is a nice color, I think, so that's ultimately why I ended up choosing it. And I just am using one coat of this, and then I will be applying a matte top coat. Now I forgot to mention that the reason, look at that, dog hair, of course, the reason that I used this um, rubber base coat is because it is, uh, it has color to it. So. I like to use that um, when I'm doing like transparent nails or um, French tip or something where you can see my natural nail bed um, just to kind of give a nicer color. While that hand is curing, I guess we can address this guy. You can see that there's some moisture under there right now. It's grown out enough uh, that I have cut off the nail that was no longer attached to the skin underneath and so I was just really careful when I applied this to make sure that there I didn't cure the can't show you right now with one hand but that I didn't cure um, any gel onto my skin there so all right plan of attack I'm not really sure so at first I was thinking I could just take my top coat to map out the French tip and then add the foil glue on the appropriate area 
I think I'm going to try and do that. And I'm going to take just a little brush, take some top coat, and this is where I'm going to have a hard time. There's kind of a center line. Just like that. Just map it out enough to where I can see it um, so that I can apply the transfer glue to the appropriate place. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a cure. Well, the flash cure. And then I am going to repeat that step on most of my nails. I think I am going to do my middle finger a full foil nail with one of the rhinestones or one of the gems. Alright, so what I'm going to do now that I have that on is I'm going to apply the nail foil glue just underneath the French tip line I have made. I'm going to try and do a thin coat of this because this has a tendency to get a little thick. And I need, you know who I need? This guy. It's a little dusty. Let's give him a wipe. All right. Time to carry on. Going to give that a full 60 second cure because apparently that is important. Can, can I help you? Um. What do you need? <laughs> give me a second. Can you wait? Can you wait just a second? Uh. No, that's a no. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Okay, one second. Okay, we're done. I'm coming. Let's go outside. All right. Dog rescued. Which one gives Victorian Gothic vibes? Hope. Definitely that one. Like that one. I'm going with this one for sure. All righty, so I have my transfer foil out. I think I'm gonna chop some pieces off because it's uh, easier to use when it's chopped. So let's go ahead and start by doing these big ones because I have a feeling that they're going to um, get stuff stuck on them. Hopefully I have the right side down. Doesn't look like I have the right side down, does it? Negative. All right, flipping. Proper side bring this a little closer to me. Proper side down, I believe. Don't know how well the uh, tip is, but let's, let's go ahead and see. Decent.
best one yet. Now I am going to take this McCart Gel Polish in Noir and put a little bit on my palette and outline the French tips. Um, so I'm going to cure that and I'm going to do the rest off camera or else I will never be able to get this done. All right, it is time to pick out our gems. I've got the black lines for the French tips laid. Certainly not perfect, but um, I don't do French tips, so I'd say they turned out pretty good. So I know I'm not going to have two of the same of anything. Which ones do we want? That one's really cute. Let's take this one out. That one's really cute. It's giving, what's giving Victorian gothic? That's cool too. What's giving Victorian Gothic that has one that's similar enough that I feel like it won't look too totally off? Ooh, that is cute. I think that is a winner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my top coat ready. And the rhinestone gel. And I'm just going to put a wee bit. Put a dollop right there, and then I'm going to go over with my top coat. Should go this way. Should go this way. I kind of like it looking like a heart. Cute. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give that uh, just a little flash here so it doesn't move about. And then I will top coat the rest of my nails and we will be finished. Here is the final result. I adore how these turned out. I love this gem so much. I hope I will be able to clip it off and keep it. Um, but I adore how these turned out. I think these are one of my favorite sets that I've ever done. Anyway, I'm just super pleased with how these came out and um, for all intents and purposes, they were simple, if you can do French tip. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and sticking to the end. If you did, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo! <laughs>